Hello everyone, this is Justice again. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. This is going to be a plan with me for the 13th of December 2018. I'm also creating a little bit of a shortened weekly spread, I suppose. Um, right now I am in a weird in-between area in my planning in that my 2019 weekly and monthly planners start soon. The monthly planner I have is from Traveler's Company, and that is currently in use, but it is not detailed enough to kind of get me through everything until my weekly planner starts. That one is going to start on the 17th of December, and I am extremely excited. This will be the first time that I am using the Traveler's Company calendar inserts, essentially. I've been doing strictly bullet journal planning for a very long time, and it's going to be interesting to see how I go back to using a pre-planned planner, essentially. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so while I'm waiting for the 17th to come so I can start those, I'm still doing daily pages, and sometimes I do those in advance, sometimes I do them the day of. I am recording this on the 12th because tomorrow is a work day, and I really don't want to be using my entire lunch break just to set up the layout of my planner and not really be able to use it throughout the day. So that's what we're doing here. It is my standard layout, like you can see on the page right beside it. It's my food, it's a time tracker, and it's a little task to, a little task um, block to check off. Um, tomorrow I'm actually really excited. I'm going to be hanging out with one of my friends that I haven't seen in a very long time. We have been really close friends since I believe it was the first grade and now I've graduated college. She's very close to graduating and I don't know. It's interesting to see how people grow and change as children, as adolescents, as teenagers, and now as kind of baby adults. We're not full adults yet, but we're baby adults and I can't wait to catch up. I'm sure everyone experiences this, but once you are at a certain point in your life, you kind of just stop reaching out to people and stop keeping up with them, especially with social media. I couldn't tell you the last time I've talked to some people because I see what they post, I know they're alive, and I just don't make the time to actually converse with them. So... It's going to be nice to sit down and have dinner after work and see how everything's going. I should probably get into the tools I'm using. Um, I'm currently writing with a Twisby Diamond 580. The nib is in extra fine and it is li linked. <laughs> it is inked with Irishizuku's Asagao ink. A-S-A-G-A-O. Oh, you just love seeing my hair, right? Like leaning into the frame and then ruining all of the focus. It's just one of my favorite things to do. Anyways, what I'm doing is in order to get my writing straight and know where I want to draw boxes, I have a shitachiki or a writing board behind my piece of paper. This insert is a Goulet Pens Tomori River regular insert. So the paper is super thin. I'm sure even on the video you can see the grids very clearly from behind the paper. It kind of hampers the writing experience because part of the reason why I like Tomori River paper is how soft it is to write on. And you don't get the same experience whenever you're writing on a stiff plastic board behind it, but it gets everything straight so that I can get a pretty good idea of what I'm doing once I remove it and everything's set up. And the purple marker that's on the background to the side, it is a Tombow Jewel brush pen. It is the purple from the pastel pack. And the washi is from Michael's. It's just random little Michael's washi that you can see. And some stickers I have, if you go on Etsy, ah, if you remind me, I'll go ahead and link their shops, but I bought some sticker packs from Etsy. 
I really wanted to find some washi stickers because I'm not a big fan of things getting bulky, but I like layering. So I really wanted to find some stickers that wouldn't make everything explode and feel giant by the time I archive it. So I got some from Etsy. What I'm doing right now is fixing up some color blocks for the rest of the days that I need to know what's happening and document until my actual weekly planner begins. I'm just doing these in a smaller version because these are also work days, so I don't think that they need full page spreads on their own. And if they really do, I'll go ahead and make them. But I just wanted to get this out of the way so that I don't feel, again, like I need to use my lunch break in order to play in my planner. I really want it to be up ahead so I can write things down as they come. Right now I am in a place to where I'm very busy. One, I'm moving, so I'm trying to pack up my entire house. Well, my entire apartment so I can move into my house. And then two, I'm just really trying to focus on work so that I can get better before busy season starts. If you don't know, I work in vacation rentals, so right now is essentially our training time. So I'm really, really striving to get better and grow before that comes. Again, we have some of these washi stickers. This pack made me so incredibly happy. It came, I think it was like the last of my order, so it came after a month of placing the order. And it was so worth it. Everything is, as you can tell, stationary themed. And so the interesting part, the part that really makes me happy, is the person who made the stickers really knows the communities and behind the brands, I suppose. And so there is a like a Filofax style planner, and all the little pockets are stuffed. And then there is a Muji planner, and it's super lined up and minimal. And then they have the Traveler's Notebook stickers, and there's just everything everywhere. And then the little pins holding it open because, for some reason, a lot of the people using Traveler's Notebooks just like to put everything everywhere. And just looking at all of these little things, it's so nice. I love it. The pen I'm using here is a Pilot Falcon Soft Nib. I kind of want to talk about that real quick. Um, whenever I first got this pen, it's my very first, well, not my first Flex Nib pen. My absolute first was a Noodler's Ahab, and I just hated it, so I chunked it. But then I got my Pilot Falcon, and you kind of have to break in the nib. I didn't research it enough to know that, but... It took me a very long time to be able to get it writing smoothly because it would always skip and jump and the ink would railroad and I was like, what is happening? This is like a hundred something dollar pen. Why is it not writing? Like you have one job and that is to write because even if I didn't flex out the nib because I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, it's a soft nib. It's not meant for flexing. Like, yes, you can, but it's just meant for writing. Even if I was just doing regular writing, it would seem like the ink would get fed up and just not want to do anything. So it took a lot of persistence and pages and pages and pages of writing, and now it's finally persistent in what it does. So if you happen to purchase or have a Pilot Falcon and you're having that same problem, just be persistent. <laughs> The ink that I'm using here is the Monteverde Onyx. One thing that a lot of people talk about in regards to fountain pens and Tamoy River paper, other than it being an amazing combination and being like, oh, if you have a fountain pen, definitely try out Tamoy River. I don't know if everyone has this problem, but I guess I have very sweaty hands because after it dries, I've noticed that it just smears. It smears easier than butter on a warm bagel, so... Maybe I'm just sweaty, maybe I'm clammy, but I feel like I don't hear about it as often as I should for how much I experience it. Like, 
I notice it predominantly whenever I'm flipping through my old inserts and then around the corners if I wrote there everything is just smeared by the time I'm done with it and part of me really wants to get into archival quality inks like um Noodler's bulletproof ones that stay put once they're there but at the same time I don't know if I want to and I have a few reasons for this the first reason is I already have so much ink I have a lot of Pilot Irishizuku inks and I'm not even halfway through using them like there's a few bottles where I'm almost done but I have also many that are brand new and so I don't want to be purchasing new ones just to let those sit and expire but another thing I really like the Irishizuku inks I love how lubricated they are they flow so nicely whereas I've tried a few other brands and I feel like the writing experience is less nice just because they're less wet they kind of just write not like a regular pen, but if you think of like a rollerball, nothing's pooling, nothing's adding fun shading anywhere, even though they're marketed as shaders. And so I just don't feel the need to purchase more inks to test them out while I have these ones that I enjoy writing with. I could probably remedy my smearing issue by getting one of those white gloves that you see people use. That way I don't rest my hand on the paper then everything goes everywhere that might be helpful but at this point it's just a minor inconvenience it's not a huge issue where I'm like I, I just can't go on I can't use fountain pens everything smears no it's it's a minor inconvenience it smears every now and then it just irks me to no end whenever it does and anyways back to the actual video You'll see I'm writing down a couple of things on each day. Each day does have a water tracker. I am very, very dehydrated right now because I just can't seem to force myself to drink enough water. So that's something I need to work on. I track water most days anyways, but even with these smaller versions, I'm focusing on my hydration. And that pretty much sums everything up with this session. I drew out a couple of days and then tomorrow. And thanks so much for watching.